But tonight, an SDSU teammate of Gavin Escobar is trying to help the former Aztec and NFL players' family in their time of need. Last week, the Riverside County Sheriff's reported Escobar and his friend had been killed rock climbing near Idlewild. CBS 8's Abby Alford has more on the support for Escobar's wife and two young children. Ten years ago, Gavin Escobar played tight end for San Diego State. His teammates say he was more than just a great player, which is why they remained friends off the field. Jake Bernards is still trying to process the loss of his former teammate, 31-year-old Gavin Escobar, who was killed while rock climbing with a friend last week near Idlewild. Shocking. It was, took my breath away. I had no words. It, it almost seemed surreal, like it didn't even happen. Bernards played football at San Diego State with Escobar, who was the Aztecs tight end from 2009 to 2012. He was more than just a teammate. Bernards shared pictures from when they were college roommates and remained friends. And Gavin was such a genuine person and we were close friends that we could go years without talking to each other and pick up right where we left off. The grief has been felt beyond SDSU. The Cowboys tweeted their condolences. Dallas drafted Escobar in 2013, where he played for four seasons. In 2019, he ended his football career with the San Diego Fleet, an Alliance of American football team. In February, the father joined the Long Beach Fire Department. Bernards says Escobar was a fighter on and off the gridiron. While in college, he beat testicular cancer. He often expressed himself through painting and a piano. You just had so many avenues to to an outlet to show and express himself to his friends and family. So I, I think that multidimensionality is really what, what sticks with me. Bernard's created a GoFundMe to honor Escobar and help his wife, Sarah, and their two daughters. Escobar will miss his daughter's seventh birthday next week. His youngest daughter, Charlotte, is only four. He was the most involved dad that I, I've been around and would go skateboarding with them. Escobar's friend, experienced rock climber and documentarian Chelsea Walsh also died in the rock climbing accident. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department is still working to determine the cause. Bernard says Escobar was an avid rock climber too. Well, Gavin Escobar from San Diego State. While they may be gone, Escobar's friends are not forgetting the impact he made after his football career. That's why I hope that this fund can help at least provide a legacy for him, whether it turns into a college fund or just to help Sarah transition through this grieving process. A memorial service for Gavin Escobar is still being planned. In the meantime, if you would like to help his family, go to CBS8.com and click on the help button.